everyone welcome back to carb spice thank you so much for tuning in very very quick video here today um this is something i really did not want to talk about because i really thought honestly i felt like this was ridiculous as the title suggests i'm going to address being a teacher and being a bodybuilder um of all the questions that i have been getting with regards to my career and my lifestyle this one stands out you know people want to know if I feel like bodybuilding is the most appropriate thing to do um, as a teacher, the fact that I'm in a teacher's position is, is the best thing to do. And my question back at you is, why not? What is so negative about bodybuilding? I have always wanted to be a teacher. I have not always been a teacher. As a matter of fact, I worked in a hospital and I can tell you that this is a very stressful job. <laughs> it's very demanding. I'm not putting teaching about anything else. But we do deal with a different group of kids every single day. You know, some of you have your own kids as well. And you know what it's like, especially you single moms or stay-at-home moms. It can be very tiring. So just imagine ha having to put up with different kids, different personalities, different backgrounds every single day. And that is what makes this a very exhausting um, career. It's rewarding, but it's exhausting. Now, with that said, um, I really honestly believe that bodybuilding, I'm on this path. I feel like if you're led to something, there has to be purpose in it. I really honestly do not see why this is a negative. Now, as I've said before, I will not strip down to my underwear to show you guys my physique um, because of my position as a teacher and also it's really not me. So I know many of you are looking forward to that. Um, I would just have to work around it. And I'm not sure if that's where the concerns are coming from. Also, I know bodybuilding um, is known for its drug use, especially the female bodybuilders, you know, the big girls. They are on drugs. You know, they take the steroids and whatever um, because you don't just lift and get big, right? But I do consider myself a natural bodybuilder or aspiring bodybuilder. And, um, you know, in that sense, it is just really not a negative. It is funny, though, when my students realized I was really into the lifestyle, I did not tell them anything. They, you know, kids are very curious. They went searching and looking and they found stuff out. And um, the good thing about that, well, what I did prior to starting off the year or any academic year with my kids, I always had the conversation with my principals and some of my colleagues and I, you know, I let them know straight out what I'm doing, what I'm about, so there are no surprises. And my administration, they're not bothered by it. My principal is not bothered by it. She's very supportive. As a matter of fact, she might actually come to my competitions. Um, and so different teachers have different things. There are teachers in MMA, there are teachers in just different sports, I just happen to be a female teacher in bodybuilding. Um, my kids, so when my students realized, and I can say my kids because every teacher says my kids, when they realized I was into the lifestyle, their attitude towards me changed, not that it was bad at first, but they became a little bit more respectful, especially my female students. They realized, wow, you know, here's this teacher who is doing all of this academic stuff, teaching chemistry, which, by the way, is not the easiest of the subjects for them. But she's somehow able to manage a family life, a career, and she's able to have fun um, doing what she loves. And that is always what I want to put out there for my kids. You know, be the best that you can be. Go for being the... Go for full potential with everything that you do. And don't let anyone stop you. Don't let the opinions of others stop you. Um, because you really do have this one life and you really do want to make the most out of this life. So a part of teaching my content, I'm also bringing across these messages as well. And I think my students genuinely appreciate that. Some of them came over to my channel and guess what? Some of them actually started training to compete in team categories. They come to me, they ask me nutrition well, questions related to nutrition and workouts and bodybuilding and the conversations are kept appropriate okay um and it goes both for female and male students i when my kids walk in here my classroom is open 
it's an open room. I make myself available available to my students. Um, and I really do not believe in isolating teens. I teach teenagers. I teach high school students. And um, they are becoming adults, okay? They are growing up. And I honestly think the more open and honest I can be with them, the more appreciative they'll be of me. So I really don't see an issue with my lifestyle. Um, I have teacher friends, not in, at my campus, but other teachers who compete. They walk across the stage with a posing suit and they're some of the most strict individuals I know. Um, and just like me, my students under, understand there are times when we laugh, there are times when we have fun in class and there are just times when we get serious and we work and that is most of the time. So I'm doing this. It's positive. It's a good for me. I found an outlet for, I guess, my hard days. Even on my good days, I work out. This makes me happy. Working out makes me feel good. I guess it's all of the endorphins. Um, and it just puts me in a good mood and it keeps me healthy and keeps me strong. And that makes me a better teacher for my kids. So if I'm doing something that is better for me, consequently, it's going to be good for them. So I don't see what the issue is with a teacher who decides to take on the bodybuilding lifestyle. Um, as far as being a role model, I'm very certain that I'm there. Very often my kids would come to me and say, wow, Miss T, I can't believe I stopped drinking soda or I stopped... Um, procrastinating on something because you're showing me how I can do all of these things and still accomplish and be successful. And it really makes me feel very proud when my female students come back to me and say, you know, you've been an inspiration. And guys, these things I'm not making up. You know, I share my teaching, um, my little success stories with you now and then. Um, I share my little awards with you now and, now and then. So these are the things that I experience every day and every year. Um, with that said, you know, if you if your child is taking a class with a teacher who is living this lifestyle, relax, okay? I hate putting it like this, but this is not the worst that can happen from a teacher to a student or vice versa, okay? Um, it can be used as a positive. If you have discipline issues with your kids, this can probably be one of the best outlets for them. So give it a try, okay? It's not the worst. That's it, guys. This was not necessarily a rant. Um, I just kind of wanted to put that out there because it's a question I get quite often. But I decided to just go ahead and address it today. Leave me a comment. Don't be afraid to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If your child had a teacher who was into the lifestyle, would you feel indifferent? Or just let me know. All right? See ya.